I mean, like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Weapons of mass destruction, that was a giant lie in Iraq. Yeah. That's not deep state. Yeah. I mean, like, the right to sing is just such a circle <laughs> to everybody at <laughs> Coffee Bean. It's not even Starbucks. <laughs> it's Coffee Bean. You know what kind of piece Co of shit you got to be to Coffee go to Bean, Coffee Bean? Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf, and they have great ice. They have they nugget have great, ice. They have a great vanilla latte. I'll be honest <laughs> with incredible you. incredible vanilla okay, latte. Okay, but a guy that makes this thing only goes to Coffee Bean. Yeah. When people ask, is everything a conspiracy? The answer is yes. Who and what is controlling everything and why? They, they practice sorcery. I can't argue against magic. <laughs> I don't know what it is that we live on, but I believe it's a realm. This realm that we live in is the lowest level of heaven, highest level of hell. Chicken snake gods and the Anunnaki and sorcery. If Sam says the chicken snake god is running everything, I'm literally in the world of crazy. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> You're losing. Conspiracy Social Club, aka Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Are we in? We're Are in. we in it, dude? The number one show. Listen, uh, people might not know this, but there's a big poll out there by uh, Podcast Magazine. And they, they asked, who's the number one show to get into it? And they said, Deep Waters. We get into it faster, and we're in it. Thanks, Podcast Magazine. We love the people over at Podcast Magazine. We really do. We love them. They're really, we love them. Really we think they might people. have dark Chinese money behind it, but we don't care. No, you know? Not if they're going to put us at the top spot. Yeah, show us clean money. We'll take it, but good luck on that. Uh, I wanted to apologize to all the people behind the paywall. You can join us behind the paywall, patreon.com slash aka deep waters. The episode came out a little late this week. Uh, we were scheduled to go on Saturday, but Sam ghosted me while he was. Well, you know, fighting. I did. I had if a hard I could just, w just one second. Um, I was talking to Sam over the weekend trying to schedule this recording, and while my texts weren't answered and my phone calls were not picked up, I saw Sam <laughs> beef on Twitter with liberals that uh, took umbrage with him saying the N-word in public. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I, I guess he'll get around to it when he gets around I'd to it. I'd say the reaction to that clip is 60-40. And of that 40%, I'd say 80% are bots. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever helps you sleep at night. No, I mean, that's serious. <laughs> I mean, every one of them is a private account. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, you know, you're, uh, you're, you're an artist. I you're, am. You're a truth seeker. I and am. And you said the N word in public, you know, so that's, you know, people are going to yeah. have Can you slur somebody if you're, if nobody's getting slurred? Well, I mean, you mentioned it. it's a great point. Um, being racist towards yourself is called depression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, which I think is uh, psychologically correct. So, anyways, how are you? Uh, I'm just I'm just enjoying Eclipse Day. Yeah. Like, you know, we'll see how it goes. You're as dressed time for of this, the, you're, at the time of this recording. There's still civilization. Yes, um, you are very much. You look like a solar eclipse. I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, can you look up the lyrics to Eight Mile and just rap them for a little while, just no. for two seconds? No, no, no. We've already got. Come on, man. We've already got the N word heat on the show, and also to everybody who's coming here to hate on Sam, welcome. Thank welcome. you for joining finally, us. Finally, <laughs> Dylan has somebody on his side. <laughs> yeah, finally, I've got support the, the guy who here. doesn't say the N word in public. No, I know the comments were brutal last week because I came out as a gay Democrat. So I think that um, you know, uh, hopefully we turn it around. But yes, today is uh, Solar Eclipse Day. Um, it's going to be fun to talk about this because the podcast will be released after. Yeah, wherein the world will still keep let's hope and i mean who knows bro this podcast will never come out and we will maybe all this be... dude maybe this is the last podcast ever recorded in civilization if you and ryan were the last people i ever saw <laughs> i would be devastated <laughs> and i love you guys but it would be it would be heartbreaking <laughs> how, how how crazy would you drive to get back to your wife I mean, would you just sing and I would do anything, anything for, for love. love as you just drove over lawns? You you went alley wong and beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. By I the mean, way, the the show Beef is basically the story about how two Asians can't drive. Yeah, 
Yeah. Right. And I saw a think piece on Variety about the harm that that caused the Asian community. Oh, how, hold on. Really? No, no. No, I made that up. <laughs> that would be so hilarious. But, uh, so, yeah, Solar Eclipse Day, everybody's freaking out. Um, what's Planet X? It's like Nabulu or something. Yeah, that's There's, where they think the... The story is that the the Anunnaki will be coming back, right. even though they're fallen angels and nobody wants to admit it. And everybody knows that and nobody wants to admit that. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's something we all agree upon, just nobody talks about it. Everyone knows that the Anunnaki are insidious little fallen angels, but everybody <laughs> wants to glorify them. And yeah, exalt call them, them. Er, uh, 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 extra uh, intergalactic beings who created us from mud or like they fucked a monkey or something like that okay um what sorry so can we before we get into all the conspiracy stuff you are dressed like you used to dress when you hit the cardboard on the streets of las vegas <laughs> what do you mean when i was a sign flipper no or when i'm break dancing when you were break dancing? oh yeah dude this is my dude i'm really starting to get into that i never want to wear like jeans again oh well jeans are there's a story that just came out that jeans are uh causing global warming oh yeah I, dude you can put anything to global warming yep you know there's a, people people been really talking about how your mustache causes global warming jeans tears my mustache frozen yogurt aka pink berry they're all killing the well, world what about the story about how global warming is affecting indonesian trans people sex drive yeah Did you see that story uh, well that's a real story and and i've <laughs> I've been talking to you about that for weeks, and you've been calling me. Somebody, a wrote, quack. somebody wrote the article, <laughs> handed it in, and someone goes, "Yeah, get it in the next issue." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couple grammatical errors, but other than that, let's run it. <laughs> you know, crazy stuff. But listen, and no, we're all supposed to just go sign on. We're like, "Yeah, okay." Oh. Thank you for writing that article on the list of problems that are really affecting us. We should be worried about how global warming is affecting Indonesia. And by the way, one of the, my favorite videos of 2024 is this trans drag Indonesian woman trying to enjoy a concert while uh, just being attacked by a, a horde of uh, Indian men trying to cop a feel. It is one of the best video videos you ever see. Okay, it's just, all right. Oh my god. It's just <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> God, there were so many things about that f sentence that I'm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, did you say Indonesian or Indians? Indian? Indone well, what are they called? Indonesians. Indonesians? So you're mad at the way I pronounced it? N Indonesians? Indonesians? No, it's just that you. It's, it's. I'm sorry, Indonesians? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like if you said there were a bunch of British people trying to cop a feel at. Coachella, but you're talking about Americans. It's just a completely different region. But I gotta say, <laughs> people being trans in Indonesia, that must be a bummer. Because um Yeah. Listen, there are a lot of things that we have to get to today. Okay. Because you have been tweeting some of the dumbest shit you've tweeted in a Th while. Oh my god, thank you. So, so I've hit peak tweet. Uh no, God no. We're not even <laughs> close to <laughs> to threat level midnight with you. Um, but we have to start with this solar eclipse. Now the, 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 the conspiracy cabal has been going nuts over this. This was a cover of the economist, I think from earlier in the year. Um, and the economist is, as you know, run by, um, are you denying that fact? The Rothschilds? Yeah. I just don't know if that's true or not. Okay. I, I think that within your world, you can attribute a lot of stuff to the Rothschilds without really any factual okay. evidence backing that up in any way, shape, or form. But I'm not sure. Maybe they do. Um, but what do you see here, Sam? Well, I see an eclipse. I see uh, the black cube in the middle. I see uh, a, a, a really fat Joe Biden. Is that supposed to be Joe Biden? He's no, I think really that's Putin versus Zelensky. Yeah, that's at the top, but the bottom. Oh, the bottom. Yeah, I guess that's uh, Fat Joe Biden versus Fat, fat Joe Xi Jinping. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the all-seeing eye, and then a blender for some reason. There's a blender in there next to uh, Zelensky. Well, one of the Maybe he's blending his, his, his co- 
into his morning uh, fruit drink. No, no. One of the forecasters mentioned in the article says that we're going to be uh, there's going to be a smoothie craze in 2024. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is yeah. that true? No, no. no okay, no. dude, you're 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 on fire today. Uh, so there's also, I guess, AI, the all-seeing eye. Okay, yeah. Um, and then evidently some kind of stock market collapse. Uh, we've talked about demoralization. This picture is very intense. Well, th- it this, just strikes uh, dread into you immediately. There's just the, the so much stuff going right? on. It's the Economist, right? It's the Economist. Is that the dude? Th- it is intense. They 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 have some crazy ass covers over the years, and you're like, are you predicting? Are you trying to tell us something? Yeah, and they are because the true lizard people have to quote unquote forecast what they're doing yeah 100 percent. Right? okay they have to, it's called uh yeah I, dude revelation of the method revelation of the method that's what they're doing where does revelation of the method come from like where did you where did the you occult hear, bro hear about that okay because they have to tell you because karmically they couldn't handle it so th- the rule is that if they warn you about it and you don't do anything about it that's on you not on them yeah. so they'll always give you like hints yeah, I know. It's cool that the occult come up with arbitrary rules and regulations to kind of get them off of their... Um, yeah, I mean, like, dude, if you're going you're gonna to destroy humanity, you don't want that karma, right? Thank what is that picture? pointing at that woman. Was that, Dylan, was I, that Dylan Mulvaney? I have zero clue who that woman is. Uh, well, she's right there, and then above that is, like, two tampons, right? That's uh, what that no, is? Those are two nukes. But oh, anyways, okay. I thought those were, like, we're yeah. going to lose Your tampons. mind is always on pussy. It's just <laughs> always on pussy. Go ahead, right. So the weird thing about the woman, I don't know what who the woman symbolizes, but opposite her is a Trump, Trump. face with a question mark. Ooh, yeah. nice grab, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan's been really coming into his own. We had the potato comment last week. Yeah, people, people are love that comment. Of. We need to get a camera on because, let's face it, you two guys are the good-looking ones of this show. You oh, guys. I don't know about that, but Ryan is good-looking. Ryan mean, he, is good-looking. Ryan he's six th- foot four, two hundred and seventy-five yeah. pounds of white meat. Yeah. Do you have good credit, Ryan? Ooh, it's mid. Okay, it's mid. Um, <laughs> so I mean, who knows? Maybe that means uh, Trump's got another Me Too moment coming. I don't know. Well, let's get to their their predictions because in this next tab over, they um, they forecasted a bunch of stuff. Um, go down to the, the second poll, I think. When will Russia and Ukraine sign or announce an agreement to end the current conflict? Okay. Okay. Interesting. So there's October 24, which, which they're basically saying not to the election. Not till at, that's, that's one month after the election, but or one know, month before, uh, Oh, yeah, that's before. My bad. I'm not good with months. Yeah, I've always said that about you. I go, Um, good guy, just couldn't tell you what month it was to save his life. absolutely horrible. I I had this conversation with my mother the other day. Um, So, and I had the conversation with my wife. She's like, it was a little teary-eyed. She was like, you've just got to get better. (laughs) (laughs) You know? (laughs) Um, But, so, what do you think about this prediction? Or is this... uh, a smoke screen? Is this demoralization campaign? What what a hopper does this fall into? No, I mean, like, dude, if you study the Iran hostage situation, we literally had an election, then 20 minutes later, like, ah, take the hostages. It was, like, crazy. Well, I think that's because Reagan, or I think it was Reagan, uh, called the people and told them not to let them out. Yeah, 100%. So yeah. my point is... As we know, we've discussed on this. Ryan brings it up all the time. Yeah. The Ukrainian war is, is a giant money laundering scheme to help the Democrats fund a lot of their election uh, cost. Yeah, and that's not me and Sam saying that. That's Ryan. <laughs> so, uh, so, of course, this is going to end. And again, like I'm just very nervous that they're going to try to escalate this shit. It looks like Israel, your, your good friends are trying to pull back out of Gaza because Iran wants to go nuts on them. Um, So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm very nervous about World War III, the manifestation of World War III. Yeah, and And I I just wanted to say hi to all, to Bibi, my my dear friend Bibi, and uh, (laughs) all of my Talmud Zionists over there in Israel. Um, (laughs) 
I'll see you for golf. In a Should couple I send weeks. you this? Send you this no, thing real have, quick. Well, if you want to, but we have Almost, so many. Ryan, things can to I get send to. this to you because I know that we have Dylan over here that tries to act like it tries to just say I'm a crazy person. Uh, but Dylan, I'm gonna send you this. Oop, no, nope. oh come on. Yeah, so send it to Dylan. No, I can't send it to Dylan. No, just send it to to Dylan and Ryan. It'll go to my computer. Oh, uh, okay. Season. All right. All right. I like the way you guys are thinking. I cannot believe you're doing this right now. I mean, we've got so much stuff. Dude, we can do. still go on. I mean, you can still do it. Can I'm, you go? Duh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We go. go up. Um. Can you zoom into that? What will the result of the United States presidential election be? 63% Democratic nominee wins the electoral and popular votes. I think it's very... Uh, <laughs> I mean, they're nuts, but you what think, I do... I what, mean, that's a pretty big advantage towards Biden from The Economist, I owned mean, by the Rothschilds. Yeah, 100%. Who do, uh, by the way, who they polled? Did they say who they polled? Was it the Rothschilds? <laughs> Were they like, well, they have well, so how, many, how are you calling this? They have so many children. I mean, this is like an 80-person poll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, go down a little bit. The craziest one to me was this... This one about China's annual GDP growth, 54% between 4.5 and 6%. I think, like, I was just doing a little Googling last night. That's Googling? An, that's an insane jump in GDP. I don't know. There are all these, you Your know. Your boy pe- Brian Callen, our boy Brian Callen, he has that Peter Zahn guy Peter on. Zion. like the, It's coming to an end. It's like any day now. Everybody talks about how China's going to be doomed soon. And it's like, when is that coming? I, I, did, I, 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 I mean, see. like, who knows what is real? Right. Who knows what is real? Um, can you go over to the next tab? Um, so we have... There was this article floating around the New York Times, which was... Oh, I love this. Hilarious. And it was called... I love this. The Deep State is... What? Awesome. That's what they're trying to say. <laughs> yeah. The Deep State is awesome. Um, do you think the Deep State is awesome? I do not. Oh, okay. What do you think, Dylan? Because you've been on, like, the wrong side of everything. So what do you think about the Deep State? I think the Deep State's awesome. <laughs> why do you think... Why do you love the Deep State? Well, let's roll this clip and okay. we'll we'll examine some of the... We'll, br- we'll, we'll bring a face to some of the faceless kind of co-conspirators okay. within the deep state. All right, I like this. Okay. I will totally obliterate the deep state. I will fire... Can you full screen it, right? Donald Trump is obsessed with the deep state. <laughs> the deep state, deep state, the deep state is destroying our nation. Either the deep state destroys America or we destroy... Oh, many fuck Republicans yeah. are widening his paranoia. These unelected bureaucrats ruining this country. From a cabal of security agents to the sick political class that hates our country. Yep. If elected, Trump's vowed to gut the federal government. Reinstate the Schedule F executive order and quote fire rogue bureaucrats. Yeah. Yeah. Who are these bureaucrats? Who are they? What makes them so dangerous? I mean, we needed answers, so we took a trip across America. In 100 yards, take the exit. In search of the people behind this threatening entity. I mean, dude. I mean. Pause I, it. Pause it. I, my <laughs> blood is boiling. It is boiling right now. And that, and, that, 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 that these people are such boot fucking lickers dude i mean i like this is the most boot licking shit i've ever seen in my life we haven't even got to the let's the, not even deal with donald trump let's go back to the cia smuggling cocaine into the country and selling it as crack and then arresting the people who bought their crack is that not deep state I mean, like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Weapons of mass destruction, that was a giant lie in Iraq. Yeah. That's not deep state. Yeah. I mean, like, the right this thing is just such a circle jerk to everybody at fucking Coffee Bean. <laughs> it's not even Starbucks. <laughs> it's Coffee Bean. You know what kind of Co- piece of shit you got to be to Coffee go to Coffee Bean? Bean? Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf, and they have great ice. They have they nugget have ice. Great, they have a great vanilla latte. I'll be honest <laughs> with incredible you. incredible vanilla okay, latte. Okay, but a guy that makes this thing only goes to Coffee Bean. Yeah. Coffee bean and tea. I mean, like, shut up. Now, bro. listen, it is a little bit of a conflict of interest given the New York Times' kind of incestuous dealings with what 
some would describe as the deep state. This guy thinks it's okay for Antifa and BLM to burn down neighborhoods of their neighbors. Well, not their neighbors because they live in, in, in gated commu- yeah. communities, but like mom and pop uh, neighborhoods, but then can't believe that the people would march on the system that caused what the people who burned down the mom and pop stores are, are, are rioting against. It's yeah. like the, the mental gymnastics of this stupid, stupid, stupid article and this yeah. video. It's and just like the, the poor guy who got who edited this together probably wanted to edit like great films and right, put out. Right. And then he has to do bootlicking yeah. New York <laughs> okay. Times video. Yeah, yeah, and you're getting so jacked up right now that you're giving yourself the hiccups. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I we, I, I, we I, have I, to get to the rest of the video because you need to see the people in the deep state. Okay. Let me okay. see the, the 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 secretaries of the deep state. Okay, here we go. First stop, Huntsville, Alabama. Sure looks like some nefarious Bomb there. activity happens around here. <laughs> to your destination. Meet Scott Bellamy. I am a mission manager in the Planetary Missions Program Office. He drives a Nissan Titan 4x4. He's loved Star Trek since he was a kid. Of course I have a favorite character. It's either Captain Kirk or Mr. Spock. And he may have quite literally saved the planet from annihilation. Potentially. You see, Scott managed a mission called the Double Asteroid Redirection Test. And back in 2022, his team used your tax dollars to pull off something <laughs> kind of incredible. You have an asteroid and you have a spacecraft, and you fly the spacecraft into the <laughs> asteroid and try to change the trajectory of that asteroid. It's like playing pool in space. Everybody was holding their breath. I can feel you just fucking radiating. I mean, what what does Best Buy have to do with this? Like an asteroid off its course. Saving the world from an Armageddon scenario. I mean. Okay, so this guy. By the way, uh, how soon until Chris Hansen uh, knocks on that guy's door? Okay, really, really shameful for you to call him a pedophile. <laughs> um, really, really shameful stuff. Um, but yeah, so I mean, that's one of the many members of the deep state. And so uh, you think outside of him being a, a predator, a, a child predator and having a very allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. not even allegedly, I'm just making a joke. Oh, I don't think okay, that guy's a predator. Okay. Well, it was a horrible He's got joke. weird vibe, but he's, I don't think he's a predator. The, I think the only thing that he's done wrong here is come up with the most basic favorite Star Trek characters, like. Captain Kirk and Spock. Like, can you not go down the roster? Well, a who's bit? your favorite? I don't watch Star Wars. I'm not a nerd dork like you. Not, well, he's talking Star Trek. Oh, Star Trek. Star Trek is way nerdier than Star Wars. Way nerdier. You never watched Star Trek growing up? No, not really. Oh, wow. Ryan, did you watch any Star Trek? I feel that that's, yeah, those are all way before your time. Those you are know, huge. No, I watched. Back in the youthful I days. I watched DBZ. I watched Yu-Gi-Oh. I watched Digimon, Digital Monsters, Digimon Monsters Champion, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm a gay liberal. Yeah, 100%. Right. There's some real talk about that. The connect- Was it Pokemon? Is that what you're talking about? Um, no, I, I watched Pokemon too, but it, it, yeah, it was Yeah, there's too, a real connection was... between Pokemon and converting children to homosexuality. Yeah, and, and by that you mean there is... <laughs> zero connection um but yeah no pokemon was a little too intense for me i I couldn't see you know creatures like psyduck get headaches and i couldn't see uh creatures like pikachu get you know dude when that pokemon craze was going on was that the craziest shit ever oh fights broke out (laughs) people trying to find these pokemons oh my gosh you know who helped make that happen was that that predator right there yeah a hundred percent and and pokemon you know, really bubbled up some teachings of arbitrage to children. I mean, it was, you know, the art of the deal. I mean, kids were ripping each other off. Kids were just, I mean, it it was absolute Sodom and Gomorrah on the playground. But uh, can we get to the next honorable member of the deep state, please? Next, we traveled deep into the swamp itself, Washington, D.C. Here's where it gets real. This is Radhika Fox. I am the assistant administrator for water at the Environmental Protection Agency. Imagine if your boss is water. Making salads and watching the Taylor Swift Eras Tour on TV with her family. Uh, I think we're all pretty 1989. Oh, and she led an operation to make our drinking water lead-free in 10 years. That's the dream. 
Worried and angry about lead contamination, residents of Newark, New Jersey are demanding bottled water and answers. By the way, imagine you were so yeah. upset about your water, you went and bought DeSante water. Oh, yeah. No, I mean. You were that. like, oh, my God, give me that DeSante water. I don't want lead, but why don't you just shit my mouth? <laughs> yeah, and that is what Dasani is, and especially. It, I mean, Dasani and Aquafina, I, Aquafina, I'd rather, like, I'd rather not, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but what is that? I'd rather go thirsty. No, I'd rather, what happens when you don't have water, you? You die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's where you're You go parch? Saying. What's the worst form of no water? Dehydrated. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd rather die of dehydration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edit that together, dog. So no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it is an important thing. If we can educate people on one thing this show, it would be to not drink purified drinking water. Okay? It's not good for you. There's what? really no purpose in it. What? You don't pu- I I purify my water? No, but I mean you should drink. If if you if you can get a bottled water, you should get mineral water. Aquafina, Dasani, all of the things have been stripped from this beautiful They're just elixir. Gar- I mean, yeah. dude, literally they go out to the porta potty and pull the water from there. And then they pass it through one of those straws that yeah. Bill Gates invented. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then yeah. They well, did you hear the new thing is toilet paper? The chemicals they're putting in toilet paper. So when you wipe your ass, you're just shoving it right. You're kind of Marilyn Monroeing yourself. Yeah, and I that is a very very real concern for me because I often use uh, man ponds. What I've described as man ponds. Uh, if I'm in a rush, one I take very very good care of my asshole. I I'll go up. I'll get in the kind of the first couple of rings of it just to make sure there's nothing up there. And if and when I do have a kind of Sharpie wiping kind of moment, I'll chuck a man pond up there. And I don't I'll, even know what that means, well, right? Do you know what a man pond is? <laughs> you, right? You, you know, the last time I heard about a man pond was Ari Shafir because he bleeds out of his bee hole. Right. So I shoved that in there. Yeah. Is that a Jewish thing? You guys uh, just like, yeah, I think your, it be, your Jewish grandma be like, put a man pond up there. Oh, great impression of a Jewish woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was phenomenal. Do this. That was do such this a good impression. All that were lost in the Holocaust. No, no, no. <laughs> a man pond is really, you know, um, in order to prevent any kind of fleshly rorschacking you just shove a little piece of t- uh, toilet paper up there and then you go about your day do you really do that from time to time but ever since have I- you ever done that Dylan where you just shoved paper up your b-hole just to feel safe you get the names confused he's Ryan six foot seven two I said Ryan. no you said me I said I go Ryan have you ever done that I mean did what I say did I say Dylan you said Dylan. You know what, dude? Okay. I'm fucked. I think I'm losing my mind. Yeah, it's because of the fucking <laughs> toilet paper. I'm having a bad show, huh? No, you're not having a bad show at all. This is an amazing show. Um, <laughs> so these are the people of the deep state. Oh. And these are the people that you and all the morons in the comments want to attack. You think I, I'm and- talking about... Uh, uh, well, this is the Rishonda deep state. Rashonda or Accor- whatever her name is. According what to this video, the deep state is kind of awesome. By New York Times opinion, these are the people that make So this the is deep the deep state. state. They watch Taylor Swift videos. That's it. And they try to get the lead out of our uh, out of our water. Okay. Do you guys watch Love on the Spectrum? I haven't. I would like to. I've seen some. Oh, okay. Well, they're introducing everyone like the way they introduce these Oh. Asperger's and Down syndrome. Yeah, this yeah. is Lisa. She likes butterflies. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. Love on the Spectrum is a heartwarming television show. I don't know. My daughter's on the spectrum. Will I be upset with how they did? Nope. No, there's I'm a lot so of heart to that show. That stuff. No, but the deep state is uh, a very, very real <clears throat> thing. Not in the way that Trump describes it. Why, what, what, what do you think the deep? I would love to hear. Dylan Wren, right? That's your name? Have I got it right? Dylan Wren. Dylan Wren's thoughts on the deep state. What is there a deep state? Of what course, is the deep state? Of course there's a deep state. The deep state is uh, a, uh, a has a very, very rich heritage in this country. It's the way that things get done, and it is the kind of enmeshing with corporate interests, the most powerful corporate interests, and unelected kingmakers in the clandestine services. That's what the deep state is. You can't just blame everything on the deep state, right, the way that Trump does, um, because the deep state can't just be this ominous thing you blame everything that you don't like and don't understand on. Okay. I understand that. Yeah. So, like, if we went through the list of problems that America has, 
Yeah. Who who would you blame most of it on? Um, I you know I would probably blame it on the at the kind of this this bottom rotation of late stage capitalism, which does amplify the influence of the deep state. Okay, there yeah. we go. I like that. All right, so we found common ground. There. Yes, we did. Um, so like Bay of Pigs. Okay, that's a perfect example of the deep state. So Alan Dulles pulls all the amphibious experts off the operation so that it will fail so that he can finally bait that good Catholic boy into a war. Yes. But he didn't take the bait. And because of that, he was shot three times in the head. Yeah, that, right. that and a bunch of other reasons. Yeah, but. that's the deep state. Um, okay, so what do we got up next? Clo get out of this uh, all-important video. And dude, what, like the New York... Oh, oh dude, okay. you don't even want to watch this. Dylan. We'll talk... This is, this is deep state stuff this is, right here. This is deep state. This is Russian I, deep I, state. As a communist, I wonder, are you excited about this? Does it excite you? Does it make you upset? Can you play the video, Ryan? Oh, stop. You stop it. We got to set this, this up. This is Yuri. Many people have seen this video before. Yes, yes. Um, this is this is a, a, a video explaining how ideological subversion works, yes. which is something that you... By a former uh, KGB agent who defected. Right, exactly. And he talks about something that you fall prey to each and every day, um, and a lot of us fall prey to it, um, but especially... Um, What's your name? My name is Sam. I'm, we're, I think it's the solar eclipse. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's it, we're getting closer. Dude, it's drawing my energy. Yeah. Go on. Uh, go ahead. Ideological subversion is, is the slow process, which we call either ideological subversion or active measures, active мероприятия in the language of, of the KGB, or psychological warfare. What it basically means is to change the perception of reality of every American, to such an extent that despite of the abundance of information, no one is able to come to sensible conclusions in the interest of defending themselves, their families, their community, and their country. It's a great brainwashing uh, process. Oh, it's very slow, and it's divided in, in four basic stages. Uh, the first one being demoralization. It takes from 15 to 20 years to demoralize a nation. Why that many years? Because this is the minimum number of years which requires to uh, educate one generation of students in the country of, of, of your enemy, exposed to the ideology of the enemy. In other words, Marxism-Leninism ideology is being pumped into the soft heads of, of, of at least... <laughs> soft heads! That's the best! ...counterbalanced by the basic values of Americanism, American patriotism. Okay. The, the so, that, I mean, like, where's he wrong? Where's he wrong? Um, well, 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 I would I would like to, to pose that question to you. Where is, is he right? Well, no, no, no. Is Russia behind the uh, ideological no, demoralization? See, dude, that's, that's like, you, you, like, you're, it's just unbelievable how you're one of the smartest people I know, and yet you're so dumb on certain things. It's, like, unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. Thanks like, for tuning you in. You see think... so much, and then you just fall for these, like... Right. Well, speaking of falling for ideological <laughs> subversion, can you close out of this and go to the next tab? Oh, okay. This is where I get set up. Yeah. I love... So this let's is go to the, let's classic go, Dylan Wren let, right there. Let's go to this example of somebody falling for something. Uh, who's the terrorist? Kiev after two years of Russian bombing or Gaza after two weeks of Israeli bombing? I mean, it's just the dumbest fucking thing. Uh, so what is your problem with that post? Well, one, um, Ki while Kiev may re uh, <laughs> remain untouched, yeah. uh, let's go to plenty of places outside of Kiev around Ukraine, and you'll see absolute devastation. Uh, I don't want to be Callan right now, but we have pictures of Grozny. So it's interesting the, the image that they selected oh, to... Okay alleviate russia of any wrongdoing in ukraine which is the kind of ideological subversion that you fall prey to all too often mother russia sam says mother russia you're just ridiculous but do you think that the russians are where behind? where are they bombing there what real quick stop ryan look at me right now what where is that don't look at the screen where where is that right now 
Well, where's that lady walking through right now? Is she walking through a forest? Is she walking through a neighborhood? Where is she walking right now? Exactly. You're staring at it. It's going to tell you where it is. The point of this is, it's like Gaza is just getting annihilated. And for some reason, you have no ability to come to grips with. You keep bringing all these other things into the discussion instead of going, what is happening in Gaza is an atrocity. I have I have said that. No, you plainly. haven't. Yes, you haven't have. once said I have I've never, said that. I want to hear you say I, that. I, I, it, what is happening in Gaza is an atrocity. Okay, I have no problem saying it because I've go. said it before but, but, on but this you fucking up podcast. This, this me, this, 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 um, a meme you brought up which somehow you took offense to meaning that like it's there's like, no offense like taken. you're equivalent you're, you're zero you're equating offense taken. what's happening in gaza what's happening in the ukraine and it's totally not the same thing no 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 uh, no 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 the the problem that i have with the picture can you go back to it right is it, one there's no offense taken at all okay. i'm not offended by anything <laughs> you're totally you offended say. by it I You're, mean, you can keep saying that till the cows come home. I'm like, my penis is seven inches. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make it true. Go on. I saw your so mangina small. yesterday, but go on. Yeah, that I titled the episode "Man Pussy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no this this is uh, this is a I, I I wonder what the intended purpose of this picture is. Well, there's a lot going on with that, right? And, and because if you would listen to our the State Department. Okay, uh -huh. which has connections to the deep state. Uh -huh. What is happening in Ukraine is the worst thing ever in the history of mankind. Oh, interesting. Because, yeah, and, yeah, but yeah, yeah. what's happening is Got what it. happening Got in it. Gaza yeah. is some kind of uh, a completely sensible reaction. Uh, okay, so um, is the news climate focusing more on Gaza right now or what's going on in Ukraine? Who's calling out more atrocity? Uh, who's been called out for atrocities more often over the past six months? Uh, Israel at this moment, or Russia? Uh, would you would you say that the 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 mainstream media is really focusing on Israel? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. You say that you say that the the mainstream media is more focused on what's happening in Gaza than they are pushing a narrative about about the uh, uh, Russia and the Ukraine? Is that what you're saying out loud into a microphone? Is it working? <laughs> it, it is? Yes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So what's the intended purpose of this So picture? what happens is, is whenever somebody, and literally the only people that do it, and the only reason I know is because my girlfriend won't stop can't stop. I'm going to answer your question. Won't stop. Can't stop watching MSNBC. Is occasionally somebody on MSNBC will bring up what's happening in Gaza. And what happens there is that is clipped up and posted everywhere and they just get murked. Okay. We've seen MSNBC fire pro Palestinian people off their show. Okay. Pro-Palestinian people. There's no one who's ever been fired at any of the major networks because they're pro-Ukrainian. Uh, they're not. Okay? Nobody uh, from Palestine is going to talk to the Congress and the Senate and giving giant speeches while fucking tweaking out on cocaine. Like, dude, this guy is so high on coke all the time. Well, I mean, listen, he's busy. <laughs> you got to stay up yeah. all the time if you figure out how you're going to spend all this money. Yeah. You know? Um, so and, and who that's is, my And who opinion. is the person that got fired for um, anti-Israel sentiment? That that idiot, that that guy that... Um, oh, I, I know who you're talking about. With the tiny mustache. He got fired. Uh, basically, any almost... He got fired for yeah, his takes. Yeah, being pro... Yeah. Right, right, right. Was yeah. it because he was pro Hamas or pro Palestine? Pro, pro Palestine. Pro Palestine. Okay, you sure? Yeah. Okay. Because just weeks before, he was the darling going off on every but everything Trump. Right, right. But so the intended purpose of this picture is to remind everybody that Israel is worse than Russia. Listen, what the the, the intended purpose of this this. Um, ideological mean, subversion okay yeah. is to go the media is painting these the painting one as the worst thing ever mm -hmm. and ignoring the other 
Yeah. I I don't see and this is interesting because I'm a, a Talmud Zionist, right? So you would think that in the digital circles that I traffic in, I would only see pro-Israeli stuff, right? Our no, 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 no. What you would see all is I see that and, nothing and wrong with that bottom picture. All, uh, well, I don't see that. And, and I am inundated with pro-Palestinian sentiment, and I understand that people are upset about what's going on in Rafah and in Gaza, and it should, you know, we need to take a look at things. And as we've said <laughs> take before... Take a look at things. We shut, should just take a look. Shut the fuck up. We need to take a look at things. We need to okay? get coffee at Coffee Bean. Um, uh, coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. But we've mentioned it before. Atrocities are transpiring, and Benjamin Netanyahu and Hamas need to get out before anything gets fixed. Also... Sam is a victim of ideological subversion. What is the next slide? This is <laughs> on on this post? No, no, no. On the next tab. Oh, that's the that's Grozny. Oh, okay. So, um, okay. So we've talked about the <sighs> we've talked about. Oh my! I just like we. It really is us versus them. It's so crazy to me. Yeah. It is us versus them. But is it, though? Because you, and it is, but is it, though? Because <laughs> you, um, when all these trials were going on, you were like, that vegan bisexual is banging people in Panama or wherever he was. Um, God, the scent of that room, where that that. Uh, Where were they in, like, the Dominican The only or thing something? crazy about that was that they all wore condoms. You would just think they'd be raw dogging. Uh, just a bunch of milk drinkers just slamming into each other. It just smells like Celsius and milk and sex. It's just disgusting. <laughs> but you were talking about how Sam Bankman fried was going to face no punishment whatsoever because of, I think, his mom started DARPA or will, something will like you, that. Uh, will you find that clip where I said he's not going to face any 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 kind of um no was that a rhetorical ask because you know that he can't do that in the drop of a hat or oh, no i would love to the, the i would assume you had that uh, that clip saying that i said that well of course you said it you said it numerous times um i don't remember saying just that just be honest with yourself i do I felt listen, that dude, he wasn't I, going to serve any time well i felt like he was going to be um that he was going to get a light sentence Hey guys, if you're anything like me, you have a certain tendency to put things off until the very last minute. Uh, taxes are around the corner. It took me an eternity to get those done. And while most of the time it works out, the one thing in life that you really cannot afford to wait on is setting up term coverage life insurance. You've probably seen life insurance commercials on TV and thought, yeah, I'll look into that later. No. Okay, this isn't something that you can wait on. Choose life insurance through Ladder today. Ladder is 100% digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage or less, just answer a few questions about your health in an application. Ladder's customers rate them 4.8 out of 5 stars on Trustpilot, and they've made Forbes' best life insurance 2021 list. You need just a few minutes and a phone or a laptop to apply. Ladder smart algorithms work in real time. So you'll find out if you're an instantly approved instantly. There are no hidden fees. Cancel at any time. You'll get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. Ladder policies are issued by insurers with long proven histories of paying claims. They're rated A and A plus by AM Best. And AM Best are the AM Best. Finally, since life insurance costs more as you age, now is the time to cross it off your list. So go to ladderlife.com slash CSC today to see if you're instantly approved that's l-a-d-d-e-r life.com slash c-s-c ladderlife.com slash c-s-c back to the show maybe but maybe if i did say that's possible but because i really felt like at the at the highest levels of power he was connected yeah but he just got 25 years in prison. Which so, every, there's what? not a person in the world thinks he's going to come close to serving any of that. Okay. And if he was, in, if he was, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, the over and under in years till he's out, six at the most. And we're talking like a, a bazillions of dollars this guy fucked everybody out of. Yeah. Bazillions of dollars. I mean, what? 
What what did uh Bertie Madoff do? How how much money did Bertie Madoff steal versus how much did Sam Bakeman Fried steal? And it's like Yeah, can you look that up? How much money did Bernie Madoff steal? I mean, it's just and this crypto I have a buddy of mine that just got fucked on some crypto. This is the problem with crypto. It's like it should be this wonderful thing and just scumbags. Oh, and also shout out to uh shitcoin Twitter for clipping us last week. We Whoa. Mentioned, we mentioned Geo Bowden and uh, you know and, and and what did we what did we do? We we mentioned Geo Bowden, the shit coin, the meme coin, uh Geo Bowden. Uh it's a it's just an important cultural moment in our nation's history. I love that shit coin. What's it called? Shitcoin Twitter? Uh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Meme, Shout out Shitcoin Twitter. Meme coin Twitter. I'm okay. not sure if I'm being So so he did not. 64 billion. Okay. How much did ba- how much did uh Bankman Fry Jack? Oh my god. It made me so sick the other day. I bank at First Republic. Oh my God, so, dude! You're so Jewish. <laughs> it's just fucking, just insane. Eight billion. Mm. Okay. Mm. So I'm not good at math, but I think that's less. That's way less. Yeah. Good point. Um, but I went to First Republic the other day, um, and. I was talking to one of the people that work there and I was like, what's going on with your jobs? And she said, we are getting fired because Chase has taken over First Republic. And I said, are you going to start working for Chase? They said, no, we can reapply for Chase at a 20% salary cut. Oh my God. So Jamie Dimon, you want to talk about the deep state? Yeah. Jamie Dimon has his buddies that go out and look at over leveraged banks Yep, and they go, Hey, this is a good one to trigger a run on. They trigger a run on it. And then Jamie diamond gets to absorb all of those banks and Aww. fire people. Mm. What? So, so let me ask you something. Oh, does Sam that disagrees with that? No, 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 no. but I'm asking you, does that bank have anything to do with this case? No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. It yeah, doesn't. I agree with you on that, dude. And you've seen stories that you've seen stories where the head of the Fed is like, "Yeah, we might not be, we might not be willing to save regional banks if there's a run." Yeah, which is that's uh, that's what it's intended for. They it's don't, they predatorial. Don't want, yeah, they don't want these things to exist because, you know, what would we do if we were reminded of what it's like to go to a brick and mortar uh, bank that has customer service and yeah. relationships yeah. and isn't behind some opaque fucking evil wall? I mean, yeah. it's just disgusting. I agree. And with you, thanks dude. to Bill Clinton for getting rid of Glass Steagall. No, you, I, I totally you agree with you, dude. Scumbag. I mean, like it's it's like unbelievable what the Clintons did to this country. The, the two deregulations have annihilated this country. Um, what is the next tab, Rye? Okay. What is What this? is going on with cargo ships losing powers in bays by bridges? Uh, what do you think's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, you like... You just think this is a quinky ding? To me, it looked like... You know, just a, a regular old Mary Mersk shipping container losing power and plunging into a bridge. I mean, not only plunging into it, driving directly into it. Yeah. That was the weirdest part of that whole thing. And now they're talking about how there's several things with this this ship that makes no sense. Like, the black box gets turned off for two minutes. Well, it has its own separate electrical source to keep its power on fishy stuff and like dude they're, they're just talking like i mean I, I, did we talk about it was it me and you well, talked about uh, well, but like is it like a battleship kind of like war game to test yeah. the infrastructure or something yeah like, like that? if you if you take out bridges people can't move and you also can't move ships so, I, I mean, dude, get ready. I mean, get ready, dude. Dude, listen, and, and I want to say... I'm buying an AK. I want to say thank you to um, Michelle, a.k.a. Mike, and Barack Obama. And I say a.k.a. Mike just to cover the bases because if I don't, he's going to launch in and say something really She aggressive. got them shoulders, though, dog. Uh, she got them shoulders. She has powerful shoulders that we all stand upon. 
Um, but I'm really appreciative of them for uh, predictively programming all of this stuff. Like, it's coming. so crazy. It's yeah. just crazy, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is crazy. And, dude, that's why that, that bit about the Havana syndrome gets me very nervous, dude. Yeah. Very, very nervous. Gets me very nervous, dude. Uh, so what do we got next? Uh, okay, so let's talk this about... This is crazy, dude. What? So, so... What is going on with... You know, we, we can sit there and just tee off on Elon Musk, and there's a lot. And by the way, will you bring up real quick, before, leave that there, but look up... Will you look up the Freemason symbol? Real quick. So. Oh, I have that. I saw that in uh, in The Witcher. They had it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Did yeah. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah, somebody, yeah, it was just right there. But Yeah. Will you do me a favor? <sighs> yeah, Will you blow is. that up? Or no, go to the, go go all the way, go to second to the right. Second to the right. Up, nope, up, that one. Click that. Now, is there any way you could put that X from Twitter next on side by side with that? And this is super interesting to me. What is interesting about it? I just want you to look at it real quick. I mean, okay. Put that side by side with the, uh, yeah, there we go. Here we go. You can slam it over to, yeah, okay, there we go. And then. Okay, go right there. Now let's do a little fun thing. Sorry, dude. I'm really making you work today. Look at that, bro. Look at that. Let's real quick. Look at that. Move, move that one a little. Yeah, no, back over just a tiny tiny. Keep going, okay, keep, okay, going. keep going. And keep going. there we go. Maybe a little more. Just a tiny oh, bit. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, okay. That's kind of crazy, huh? Oh, very, very interesting. It's very interesting. Oh, interesting. So Elon Musk is a Freemason. Oh, I'm sure. At the highest levels, yeah. But it's like interesting that it fits up really like thick line, thin line, right? Can you Google, um, you know, the number 33 was a very, very, it's a very important number. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. 33rd parallel, 33 angels, 33rd uh, vertebrae. The highest level of Freemasonry is the 33rd That we Mason, know of. That we know of. Uh, Ryan, can you look up who is the 33rd president of the United States? Oh, no. Who? Who is it? Oh, no. <clears throat> Truman. The guy that dropped the bomb. I mean, this is the question. Are the Freemasons good or are they bad? Well, I always thought they were good. I mean, I think it's like any uh, any philosophy or religion or <laughs> spiritual movement. The base is great and the top is satanic. Sure, 100%. So, um, what? dude, we also... Have you heard about the, the cornerstones of... Um, what? They're just gone. What does that mean? The cornerstone is like the first brick you lay. Yeah. And there are supposed to be, you know, these big ceremonies and stuff, but there's nothing written about the the cornerstone of the White House getting laid, and nobody knows where it is. And people think that inside of it is some kind of messianic time capsule, and nobody can identify it. And they were going through a renovation during Truman's presidency. And he, evidently there, there were people that had caught wind that this cornerstone was missing and they went looking for it. I think it was like congressionally approved and he said, stop it. Nobody's looking for this anymore. Bro. Spooky stuff. That is spooky shit. So, but can we go back to... Um, Does anyone get Eisenhower and Truman mistaken a lot? Like they're almost like the same guy? World War II people. Um... Next one over. Uh, do we want to get into free speech and death to America? No, right will you go now? back? Go back. So the whole thing about about Twitter, and regardless of what you think of Elon Musk, and there there are a lot of things going on that I think. I must say like this. It's like think of Twitter like Joe that, Rogan's comedy. That club. fucking tracksuit is so sick. Thank you, dude. That's so sick. Thank you, dude. Not of approval from Rye. I mean, you know, you can't look at that and not be admirable. Like, you know, Joe Rogan has this wonderful club in in uh, in, in Austin. Austin. A lot Texas. of my good friends are over there. Adam Egan, all these people. And, you know, I doubt Joe Rogan 
is is micromanaging everything. I think he's he's over the years learned to trust all these people there. Hey, they know what they're doing. I'm putting them in positions mm-hmm. to 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 help this amazing. I mean, the club is just on fire right mm. now, right? On fire. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, somebody got a. By the way, did you see Adam Egget's clip on Sam? Uh, Sam. Um, Hide. So t- Sam Tenet's um, uh, podcast where he's talking about John Travolta. Uh, pitching uh, Norm McDonald sketches, and they were like, so he said they were so racist. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyways, so but the point of that thing is like, I I highly doubt that that Joe Rogan is micromanaging every moment of that club. So you don't think Elon is a free no? Manager. I would tell you that there's a lot of things going on on Twitter that I guarantee you that Elon Musk isn't isn't aware of. Because he's had to play like this. Like what? I think there's some counts getting uh, deleted that he would probably have a problem with if he knew that that was happening. I would tell you, you know, there so are. So you're saying there are, there are still angry libs. 100%. Over at Twitter. 100%. So, so, but the whole point is this, is that I, I really do believe in my heart of hearts that Twitter is very important. And, as, as, and it's not perfect. I don't think you'll ever ever get a tech that's perfect if it wants to be on all these platforms meaning apple uh apple apps and all that stuff but the reason brazil is going nuts on twitter right now is because twitter allows people in brazil to see what's happening in brazil Mm -hmm. they're seeing all the all the protests going on against this just totalitarian uh move that the government is trying to make right what now. What are you talking? Right, what is this going on with the Supreme Court? Or something yeah, well, on? the Supreme, the 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 powers that be. And by the way, have you seen the, the? Have you seen the? Can you look? Can you try to look up the judge in Brazil that's against Twitter? I mean, you. This guy looks like he loves oh, Dalmatians. I, seen have him. you seen him? Yeah, he looks like a ma- a balding Cruella de Vil. <laughs> percent yeah and and Cruella de Vil, it, it it's gone understated just how evil that bitch is can you go to pictures just go to pictures I mean think about that woman wanted to make a coat out of puppies out of puppies and we're all like oh dude that's such a crazy oh, character that's a such a, she's uh, there's so, I mean she she's like one of the most deranged villains in the history I would of agree fucking I would art. agree there's a picture of him in like a black. I know you want to see the the angel of death wings. I know the picture <laughs> you're talking death about. Wings. It's so funny, dude. How like dark this guy looks, and you just know that that guy, I mean, has to be so compromised, and they just feed him all of his sexual fetishes, which is all got to be the weirdest shit. Possible. Oh, that's his O face. Go back up. Go back up. That's him climaxing <laughs> right there. That's what he looks like. <laughs> So Man. so that's why people think that they're very angry at Twitter right now because Twitter allows for the people to discuss what's going on. Yeah, and what's going on is a hyper conservative government in Brazil is gutting the Amazon and doing other things. Nah, dude, you won't you won't find me arguing with you yeah, on that. No, I mean, it's just oh that that's a pretty evil looking. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He looks like mean John Malkovich, and John 100%. Malkovich looks pretty. He mean looks already. like he just tried to use the N word to yeah. motivate his football team. Yeah. Doesn't he right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And everybody just throws away their their PB and Js in a really awkward way and just walk out. Of them. And they go and win the game. But yeah, it's not because of game. it's not because they're of him. so angry. They hit a little harder. Yeah. Go down. Yeah, but there's just some. Oh, there, oh, it, there is. it is. There it is. No, 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 no. Go back. Go, go back. Go back. Go oh back. man, you had it. You had it. You had it. Oh, uh, now you got to go back. Oh, it's so crazy. You had it. Now it's it. gone. No, it's fine. It's Let's fine. see if you can find it. Keep going down. Uh, he's just like, oh, go down. Keep going. Uh, what? I No, uh, I thought that was it, dude. Yeah, no, we're not going to Yeah, get anyway. So, so, pre- uh, so the, there's something about the Supreme Court, though? Well, what they're doing is they're attempting to um, vote to get rid of Twitter in Brazil. Oh, okay. I thought there was something about stacking the court. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So what happened in Brazil was they the they went from having this many, like let's say I don't know what the number was, but let's call it nine. Let's they went to nine to like fifteen. 13, right. 
13 or something like that, yeah. which allows them to get all these new judges on their side sure. into the court, which is what the Democrats have been talking about trying to do as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but can't you be liberal without, like, you have to admit, like, do you like Democratic policies? You could be, li- I'm an old school you know, liberal. I, I, said, I said last week that I am a Democrat and I want Democrats to win. Um, and obviously, um, you Do know, you think California is in a, a can I, bad can I, state? Can I just say something really quickly? Yeah. Obviously, a lot of idiots in the comments got very upset at that. Because, no um, you know, there's cancel culture on the right. There's cancel culture on the left. Basically, it, you know, anyone you disagree with, you shout down and call an idiot, right? Which is um, infantile behavior and um, cognitively lacking. But when I say I want Democrats to win, I don't want institutional Democrats to win. I don't want neoliberals to win. I don't want people like Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden, you know, ideally not running the country because I don't disagree. I don't agree with a lot of their policies. Cause at the, at the same, at the highest level, so they're neither liberal or conservative. No, they're just, they're just no, they're capitalists. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, and it's like, I, I think we were starting to realize that, that like we should not allow politicians to serve for that long. No, no. But the, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to get into the, but that's what's going on with Brazil. And, and can we end with something, something fun? Because we can talk about the Supreme Court packing and how I would love if the you Supreme, love talking about packing. I would love if the Supreme Court was packed with uh, with Democrats, because when it's packed with Republicans, really, really bad shit happens, you know, like uh, Gore versus Bush and uh, Citizens United. Uh, I'm not against that either. And and also, like, you know, this outrage over a tactic to pack the Supreme Court. What are we doing here? I mean, dirty politics gets played with Supreme Court Yeah, but Supreme that doesn't Court mean seats. it's right, Dylan. No, it doesn't mean you it's right. You can't go like, oh, dude, what we do? We always do this. That's just like defeatism. I, I mean, do you, do you think what Mitch McConnell did was right? Yeah, but that doesn't mean, like, that. just because one side's doing something bad and we all agree on that doesn't mean we should not look at what the other side's doing. But I, I don't... Like, I, you know what I could do, Dylan? I could say both sides are full of shit. Yeah, of course. But, but I, I don't defend my side I, as like, well, it's not as bad as the other side. Both sides suck. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the difference between you and me. You're an anarchist and I'm a partisan. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. like, I still have, I would tell you, we probably agree on more than we disagree. Yeah, 100%. But I'm just able to call out the side that I voted for forever because they've completely lost the narrative and, and they're just trying to destroy the country from within. I'm able to do that as well. You are not. Yes, I you, am. You cannot say that Democratic policies in California have done done irreparable harm. Yes, I can. We've talked about it before. You have amnesia because of the eclipse. I don't, but you like, you're like, I just want the Democrats to win. Why would you want the Democrats to win when you've seen what they've done to your state? I, I don't want the current kind of Democrat to win. We're in a tough spot right now. It's just because, but you keep voting for the Democrats because the theory of the hate that you see that the other side brings is worse than the actual... It is Actual. not theory. I fundamentally disagree with the ideological tenets of the right. It doesn't make them bad. It doesn't make them evil. I just disagree with it, and I'm allowed to vote the way I want. Get in the comments. Let me know how good <laughs> no, I am. But dude, Why are you laughing? Be, because it's just like you're. It's why. It's like if you, you even. Need, I don't want to argue even go about back politics. to my clip. It's like. It's like. There is no gray area anymore. It is black and white. And the reason we're never going to save San Francisco and we're never going to save uh, Los Angeles is because of this way of thinking, which is that the other side is way worse. The, uh, uh, red the, card. The theory of the other side is actually way worse than you, what's happening on a street level based on the ramifications hey, of your voting. Hey, hey, hey. Shut up for 30 seconds. I gave you a Oh, now it's 30 seconds? Yeah, it's 30 seconds. It was 15 seconds. seconds. No, it's 30 seconds. Liberal policies have ruined 
a lot of Los Angeles and a lot of California. <laughs> it's not a big deal to steal over $1,000 worth of stuff? Well, are we insane? What are you people talking about? It's okay to just do heroin on the street? No. So, listen, I'm not just, just some... Coo- and you can start talking now, but I'll not have you brand me as some insane... It, it's just, it's never going to change. If you just have this giant... I'm not even saying, bro, that I you have to vote Republican. I don't I would say, talk about... don't vote at all. I yeah. don't want to talk about politics, okay? That's okay, when we get... This is literally a show about politics. No, it's a show about conspiracies. Can we get to the, the salt seeding of the clouds <laughs> just to end things real quick? Uh, go over. That was a clip of... Oh, there it is. Well, that's the... the Behind you, you got the watcher, yep. Uh, where is this? Nope. Nope. I, I have a nice thing to maybe bring everyone together. At the oh, yeah, kumbaya. Yeah, kumbaya. Oh, she's an idiot. Okay. Okay, go on. I want to hear but from what, you. What were you. What were you saying, Ryan? Uh, so, you know, I was talking about love on the spectrum. We were talking about <laughs> yeah. climate change earlier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Greta Thunberg. Did oh you, yeah, she's got them titties. Oh boy. my dude, holy cow! Did those fatties come out of nowhere? <laughs> That's so crazy. It is so. Look at those fatties, bro. I I am I am. <laughs> not... Oh right here, right here. Go go up. go go. Yeah, go, look at that. Yeah, look at that. But go up. You can see it in better emotion. Yeah. Go up. Go up. Go up. Next one. One more. One okay, more. Cool. One more. Yeah. There it is. Look at those. Right. Look at how she loves it. She's yeah. like, now let's, look at my fatties, dog. Let's have, uh, let's have another uncomfortable moment. Um, what? Can you look up how old Greta Thunberg is? Yeah, she's like 20. She's 20, dude. Let's hope. <laughs> no, she is. Okay. You don't think I know how old she is? I'm sure there's a website decade to when she became legal. Okay, 21. 21 years old. Still, I mean, it's quite reductive the way you two are talking. What are you talking I mean, about? To distill a young freedom fighter who's just trying to protect us <laughs> We're fatties, from dude. the dangers of global warming into a sexual object the way that you both have done this episode is really, really harmful. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that. You can't talk about, you can't respect someone who's been blessed with fatties, dude. <laughs> I mean. I, what kind of world have we gotten to where grown men yeah. can't talk about a young lady who's got fatties? Uh, I'm not. Uh, and it's not like she's just walking down the street and we just start catcalling her like that American girl in Italy painting, right? Her picture. We're not like Sam, that. Sam, if you were at a protest to, and the only reason you would be at one of her protests of those is, is to be kind of counter and ironic, uh, which would make you behaving like a hipster. You would show up and you would chant about her fatties the entire time. And you fatties, know that. Fatties. Fatties. Yeah. Fatties. Yeah. Uh, so I was actually laughing because I went to X and I just typed in Greta. And the number two thing, it was not like Greta Thunberg, Greta Arrested. It was Greta's Milkers. Like, there's, there's enough people that have searched Greta's Milkers. And that is why, as we've said, Twitter is very important. <laughs> there we go. It's very, very important. Now, do you important. think she's properly getting loved? Like, by all the, the, the Greenpeace people? Do you think they make proper love? Do you, do you think their tears are cooling down the environment as he, they cry about all the love? Can making? you go Can you go back to this? Um, okay, geoengineering <laughs> test quietly launches salt crystals into the atmosphere. Yeah. Now, this was done in San Francisco. It was done, like Donna Brazil would say, a thief in the night. Yeah, well, um, like, I love that they can't, don't even ask us if they, we could do that. Right. So they just go ahead and they, they cloud seed with crystals. Uh, you're drinking Colombian decaffeinated coffee crystals. One of the greatest SNL sketches of all time. Have you seen that one? No. Can we look at uh, Chris Farley uh, gets told that he's not drinking coffee, but decaffeinated <laughs> Colombian coffee crystals, and he just flips out <laughs> he loses and it. starts attacking everyone in the restaurant. <laughs> uh, uh, he but- was so good. <laughs> it was so good, dude. He's like, what? <laughs> You're not drinking coffee, but decaffeinated Colombian coffee crystals. Why, you son of a bitch. And then he just loses it. They hit him in the head with a cast iron pan like three times before he goes down. But anyways, so it's, dude, it's so funny. But this happens so that they can deflect or redirect 
sunlight oh my god from the earth now if you want to get conspiratorial about it why are people in seattle and oregon so angry and blue-haired they don't get vitamin d dude that is a great point bro well i was being a little facetious about it but it is a point i mean we do need vitamin d to uh, be happy 100 percent, dude now i'm not saying that this test is born out of a sadistic conspiracy you to deprive so funny, us dude. of that vitamin you're just so funny but you would say that that is what's going what on. would i say that they're doing this so that they can it's part of i would say it's biological physiological demoralization yeah i mean like dude like if you if, if you block out the sun like you do major damage to the planet and it's i'm sorry that's that when bill gates wants to do it you should question why I like, isn't it crazy? Like, do you guys not find it weird that this guy has been busted doing all this awful shit and nothing happens to him? It, it, it almost makes me go, none of this is real, and it's all loose jacking, fucking anxiety ridden theater. Go to samtriply.com for all of his dates. I'm going to be in uh, Dallas. I'm going to be. In Oregon, I'm gonna be in Illinois. Daddy's gonna be hanging. Daddy's gonna be banging, bro. Uh, come see me with Callan at the Brea Improv, April nineteenth and twentieth. Follow me at. Are Dylan you Pete opening? Rath. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and join us at patreoncom slash aka aka Detroit Avenue. Love you all. Um, and then Ryan has a West. Ryan, Coast, what is the name of your West, West Coast? Coast Connection? It's a oh. podcast where they talk about gang activity or Dude. something like that. What? <laughs> Uh, Dude, the West eclipse Coast is happening Ryan. right at this moment. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Are well, we dead? We're... Look outside, Ryan. Look right into it and tell me if your eyes burn. Ryan, look outside, please. Can you just peel the curtain back? Whoa. Wow. It is so dark out it's there. It's so dark That's out there. That's crazy. Everybody, I... uh, don't look up, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Keep that face. Keep that face. <laughs> New face. Oh. Come on. Dude. What it is that we live on, but I believe it's a realm. This realm that we live in is the lowest level of heaven, highest level of hell. Chicken, snake gods, and the Anunnaki and sorcery. If Sam says the chicken snake god is running everything, I'm literally in the world of crazy. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> You're losing. Conspiracy Social Club, aka Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Deep Waters.